Okay, so I'm here at Adobe again with our friend John. Uh, there's loads of new updates this year for all of the Adobe programs, but something I'm really excited about is the new content aware fill in After Effects. But tell us about some of the new things in After Effects this year, including that. All right, so content aware fill is very similar to this, the same named uh, feature in Photoshop. It's been there for a while. Now we're bringing it to video. So you, you know, you've got your, your whole timeline and you've got an object or a sign or something that you want to remove, Content Aware Fill is going to fix that for you. It's going to save you a ton of time. And then along with that, we've also got a brand new expression editor. You know, we've, we've updated from just plain text you know, when we were coming from the version in October. Now here in April, we've got full syntax highlighting, autocomplete errors in the expression, so you don't have to even hunt for your line. It's just going to tell you your error right where you've got it. Wow, that's impressive. I'm looking for, really looking forward to seeing this. Um, yeah, please take it away. It looks really exciting. So Content Aware Fill, it uses the alpha channel of your footage in order to know where it needs to replace pixels. So we, we would start out with you know, our shot with an item we want to remove. In this case, we want to remove a red car that's filming a cyclist. We just want the cyclist. So the first step would be we would create a mask and animate or track it to the car. So the car is followed for the whole shot. Then we use that mask and set it to subtract in order to punch a hole right through the alpha so we can see you know, we don't have any content there. And then we don't need to select our, our footage or anything. We open up the content aware fill panel from the window menu and it will show us where our alpha hole is. Then we'll select our fill, me our fill method of object so it knows you know, what it's supposed to be replacing. And then we would generate fill layer. And it's going to generate us a PNG sequence and our car will be gone. It take, for wow. this, this shot's about 120 frames. It takes anywhere from maybe 40 seconds to a minute and a half That's to so, analyze and render. I mean, that's so impressive. I'm, I'm still amazed by how good it is in Photoshop. So to see it in video, oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's incredible. That's yeah, really it, incredible. It's a complete game changer for you know, logo removals and you know, fixing signs and even you know, facial lemmises and all that kind of stuff. You know, combining this with things like the new Mocha plugin from October, with the facial tracker, with all kinds, you know, anything that is going to make your tracking quick, and you lay this, you put this with it, and you know, there's nothing you can't fix. Yeah, it's a game changer. It's a game changer, basically, isn't it? One more thing I want to mention is that, you know, it's not magic. It does sometimes need a little bit of extra information. So you can create a frame in Photoshop that has. You know, one frame fixed the way you want it, wow. and the content aware fill will look to that frame for its instructions. It will say, Oh, this is how you want it fixed. This is what should be there, and it will do the in betweens for you. So that'll really improve the accuracy when you come exactly. to do it. Exactly. So you've got lighting changes, you've got objects mm -hmm. moving in front of what you're trying to remove. Use those reference frames in Photoshop mm -hmm. to tell content aware fill what you want. Wow. Cool. And you can make as many reference frames as you want. Oh. One, two, you know, yeah. infinity. Does that mean, I think the first time I saw a demo of this, a couple of days ago online, I was very skeptical. I thought this surely can't work as good as this, and it, and it does. That's I'm, I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I'm blown away. And it's pretty incredible. Cool. I'm really impressed. I'm so impressed. You can tell I'm seriously impressed. So all of this is uh, available for download today. Is right. Wow, that's really impressive. Well, thanks very much, John. It's a uh, you know really really a pleasure to meet you, and uh, thanks for showing us. So if you want to download this, have a go on it today. Uh, you can update your Creative Cloud, and uh, it will be there for you. But Thanks for watching. We're going to be looking at some of the other stuff here at the Adobe stand, so keep watching.